you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy scripture by wisdom ministries march 13th saturday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to st luke chapter 18 verses 9 to 14 he also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and regarded others with the contempt two men went up to the temple to pray one a pharisee and the other a tax collector the pharisee standing by himself was praying thus god i thank you that i am not like other people thieves rogues adulterers or even like this tax collector i fast twice a week i give a tenth of all my income but the tax collector standing far off would not even look up to heaven but was beating his breast and saying god be merciful to me a sinner i tell you this man went down to his home justified rather than the other for all who exalt themselves will be humbled but all who humble themselves will be exalted the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends an unknown source comes up with an article entitled how to be miserable it says think about yourself talk about yourself use i as often as possible mirror yourself continually in the opinion of others listen greedily to what people say about you except to be appreciated be suspicious be zealous and envious be sensitive to slights never forgive your criticism trust nobody but yourself insist on consideration and respect demand agreement with your own views on everything sulk if people are not grateful to you for favors shown them never forget a service you have rendered strict your duties if you can do as little as possible for others The Pharisee in today's gospel clearly shows us how to be miserable and proud. He is enumerating all his achievements. He compares himself to the tax collector who by his estimation is rather low. He says, I am not like the rest of humanity. Greedy, dishonest, and unrighteous. He is always saying, I, I, I. He is really an authentic egoist. and so therefore like the pharisee if we become self centered and self seeking we become too proud and too self righteous no wonder that we find it very difficult to associate ourselves with the proud people because they always look down and find faults in others the other hand the tax collector is a model not of his sinfulness but of his humility to accept it by which we should spend our life he stands at the back of the temple and would not even lift his eyes he never exalts himself he bows his head and beat that his breast which is a sign of his acceptance and acknowledgement of his unworthiness and sinfulness before god the gospel passage tells us something about humility that we should practice as followers of christ first it tells us that the humility comes from measuring ourselves against the greatness of god you know that pride us always begin with the comparing ourselves with others second it, it 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 tells us that we have to pray to god with the humility yes my dear friends rather than pride the humble prayer pleases god god hears our prayers if we approach him with humility i think we are wondering why god accepts one person's prayer and rejects the other's prayer Jesus gives us a hint that he is despising one's neighbor closest to the door to God's heart. An example for this Pharisee by which he mainly prays with himself and disdains for those he despised. While the tax collector humbles himself before God and begs for mercy, God answers his prayer because he has remorse for his sins. He seeks God with the humility rather than with pride. And third, it tells us that humility demands charity. We naturally tend to judge others. We compare ourselves to others and destroy their 
reputations through criticism detraction or slander but we forget that in god's eyes we have been given more and more will be expected from us by doing charity towards our neighbor let us always remember that god cannot be where there is no charity and authentic christianity amen may god bless us